What's going on guys, Killer6 back with a legendary item guide on the recently buffed Chaosin. In this video, I'll cover how to get it, break down how the weapon works, and cover some of the other things that you should be on the lookout for with this weapon. So let's get right into it. The Chaosin is a legendary SMG manufactured by Dahl, and the red text reads, small but packs a punch. This gun's name and the reference here are about former lead combat designer in Borderlands 3, Grant Ko. You guys might remember that he was also referenced on the Chaos Assault Rifle, and that one too made a reference to the word small. The Chaosin special ability is that bullets from this gun will apply sticky bombs to the target while also doing standard bullet damage. Those sticky rounds explode on their own after about a second. Those exploding rounds deal almost the exact same amount of damage as your initial shots do, giving you basically double damage at all times with this weapon. Both the initial shot and the sticky rounds gain bonuses from splash damage and area of effect damage. The sticky rounds gain crit modifier damage as well. The Chaosin only drops from Captain Tron on Athena's and only when your game is set to Mayhem 6 or higher. Tron has a 16.5% chance to drop the Chaosin, so this farm is not actually that bad, except for the part where you want to get the adapting prefix, and that might take a little bit of time. The stats on this one at Mayhem 10 level 65 are 7,124 times 2 damage, 64% accuracy, 69% handling, reload time is 2.5 seconds, fire rate is 9. 0.65 shots per second and the mag size is 32 on the one that i've got right here the adapting version does consume two ammo per shot so be aware of that but that version is also the most desired role this gun can come in full auto semi-auto and burst fire versions Full auto, in my opinion, should be the most desirable option as you can quickly unload a mag into an enemy. That said, the semi-auto mode does give you a 10% damage boost on dull SMGs, so if you don't mind squeezing the trigger between each shot, that would give you a smidge extra damage, but I feel like you're going to get way more bang for your buck with the full auto version because you're going to get way more shots on target in a much shorter time. Burst fire on this gun, however, is not good, and it should absolutely be avoided at all costs. This gun can spawn with any element. The Chaosin was nerfed originally back in June of 2020 to lower its accuracy and its critical hit damage, but it was recently rebuffed in the damage department on February 11th of 2021. Now, ideally, I would still like to see them restore the accuracy on this weapon, but as you can see in this footage, it is still very accurate despite that, and it is extremely powerful with the recent buff. With that recent buff, this gun is now back to being one of the best SMGs in the game once again, in the hands of a splash damage and bottomless mag mo's like my mo's zerker 6.0 build link in the description down below you can melt everything in sight in the hands of Zane, Amar, and Flak, this gun is a nice, fun change of pace weapon, allowing you to deal crazy splash damage, blowing up enemies all over the place. The URAD and consecutive hits annoyments are two of the best all-around options for this gun, but you can use other annoyments depending on your build, of course. Ideally, though, you are going to want to have splash damage bonuses on your artifact or class mod, or both, to further increase the power of this weapon. I hope this guide to the Chaosin was helpful to you. If it was, then please take a second to hit that like button, hit subscribe, and tap the bell icon if you'd like to be notified when I post a new video. If you'd like to, you can click on one of the cards at the end of this video to see more legendary item guides as well. Thank you guys for watching. Take care. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm done. I retire. It's been fun playing Borderlands 3, but uh, apparently, apparently I'm done here. Take care.